Hey everybody, welcome back to Jackie Robinson Ballpark behind me. The Jack, if you will. Daytona Beach, Florida. Today is opening day for the Daytona Tortugas. Single A ball club for the Cincinnati Reds. We love coming out to the games here. And we gotta do a little bit of catching up. All right, it's raining outside, of course. Uh, beautiful day, Daytona Beach. But to get everybody caught up, the last game that we were here that I was here was in the summer of 2019. And the next game that we were supposed to be here was supposed to be for the mascots, Sheldon and Shelly getting married. We had uh, press media credentials to go on the field to cover the wedding and everything mm -hmm. else. And then like an omen or a bad omen, uh, we had really bad storms. So much so that they canceled the rest of the season. The wedding would be postponed and be played at the beginning of 2020, and then the world ended. We had no season last year. Um, and in the middle of this, there being no season, uh, we then had the next step of minor league baseball looking to take away the Daytona Tortugas among other teams mm -hmm. within uh, the minor league rotation. Um, there was a grassroots movement uh, to keep the stadium. Daytona, Volusia County, everyone came together to make it clear that we stood with the Jack. <laughs> and the Jack was saved, and mm -hmm. the Tortugas were saved, but there was no baseball last year. Yeah. And with no baseball last year, employees didn't have jobs here last year. Um, and for those that don't know, single-A baseball players aren't exactly making, like, uh, mm -hmm. Mike Trout type of <laughs> money, you know, so um, the employees and staff all sat home and kind of waited and hoped that, you know, the two-week uh, quarantine would take hold and then it went from two weeks and you know the rest of the story. Um, our friend, Austin, who was uh, amazing with the Tortugas, mm -hmm. uh, took a position in Denville to be the GM of the Otterbots. Which is amazing for Austin. I am so happy because <laughs> yeah. he deserves the best. He is an amazing person. All of the people at the Tortugas are amazing. But we've missed coming out here. Today is opening day. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this rain passes because I see some bands of uh, sunshine in the distance. But we're going to make the best of it. It's also Taco Tuesday. <laughs> so uh, we're going to get our tacos on and our baseball on. And you guys are going to come along. Now the two guys are playing the St. Lucie Mets here today. <laughs> Gotta pick up a new hat. So they've put plastic up here, blocking any interactions with the players in the dugout. Smart. So they still have the private party area over here, the beer tent, and the pavilion here, but no little kitty section right now. Sheldon's in the house. <laughs> the last time we were here, 
When we were here, you were supposed to be getting married. What happened? Is it still happening? The story goes on. The story goes on. Take a look at this menu. Looks like chicken tenders are the best value here. We've made it to our seats and they're undercover. Oh, check out that big ass fan. Look at this field. It's got an awesome drainage system in it from a couple years ago, so it should dry up pretty quick. And like most other sports at this point, the seats that are purposed for distancing, meaning you can't sit in them, they're zip tied. So the seat you can sit in, open, the seat you can't sit in, zip tied. And by the way, this game is sold out tonight. Sold out. We've got our hot dogs. We have our fries, not garlic palm fries because they don't have those tonight. And they also don't have hamburgers, so don't even ask. And Taco Tuesday, who the hell knows what happened to that? <laughs> the seats we have are great, by the way, because they're all zip tied at the end, and they're all zip tied over here, so no one coming past to have to make their beer runs. My favorite seats at the Jack are the first two rows off the field, because those rows typically have waitress service, and the sun has come out. I'm gonna paint the batter's box. And so the start of the game has been pushed back one hour because they need to get the field prepared. We've got a batter's box. We're gonna work on the mound. We're gonna get some beers. These are the beer options. The tour to is taking the field. St. Lucie Mets. Warming up. Is this is what the distance crowd is looking like here. And we have been waiting a long, long time for folks. It is time for our ceremonial first pitches. Here tonight, we're kicking off the second 100 years of baseball right here in the world's most famous beach. Daytona Beach, Florida. To our fans who have stuck with us through this remarkably difficult offseason, this is the official beginning of the second 100 years of baseball, ladies and gentlemen. So, Rick, take it away. I hope that's not a sign. You know, folks, it is all least for. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome at this time, sir, throwing out the next ceremonial first pitch, your Daytona Beach Police Chief, Jakari Young. You gotta love that they're playing Shinsuke Nakamura's theme song here while we wait for the national anthem to start. Three, two, one. 
And now, the first pitch in a year and a half. Strike one! Oh! And the Tugas are on the board. It's gonna be a long night for this Mets ball club. Can't get it over. Of course we do. You feel like dancing? Because my friend Shelly, she feels like dancing. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get going. The Zaxby's Chicken Dance. Watch Shelly and then fans, watch yourselves up on the big screen. See, Shelly set the example. We see some of our friends, the Angels. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh my lord, this guy is like E.T. He can't find home. Even the scout is leaving, he's like, nothing to see here. In at the weight of seaweed, please welcome Sheldon Cena. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Hell Sheldon making his way up to the top rope, up to the high res district. What are we going to see here from Sheldon? The Centon Bomb from with an elbow drop. It's breaking out here. What's even happening? This guy wins the award for the most difficult last name of the night. Up next, Shervin, don't call me Fig, Newton, Newton. Yeah! of our fans of the game make sure you come see us at our next game but let's keep this energy up we <laughs> gotta keep doing? winning this game here you can't see him jalen don't call me arnold because i don't like lemonade palmer from my hometown of flushing new york oh he smacked that ball oh can of corn can of corn zach ashford and Simpson. Oh, he just Simpsoned that ball right back to first base. Sit down, Saunders. Ka-ching! And on your marks, get set, go! Come on, Sheldon, pick it up. I know you're a turtle, but you're like, that. this is, you know, Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. He's, the one not even close, they sides all the way, ladies and gentlemen. Impressive performance all around, super fat. No matter, 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 no matter. Top of the seventh, no outs. Two gets still up, one nothing, because of that passed ball and stolen base. I don't sure how they scored it in the first inning, but the Mets are threatening to score here with second and third. It's getting late, it's uh, 8 after 10 at night. All kidding aside, where am I normally at 10 o'clock at night at this point? In bed watching TV. That's right. Thank you, Major League Baseball Extra Innings Package and or History Channel. <laughs> they keep playing this ice cream song and they took out Mr. Softy this year. What are you doing? Mr. Softy is one of the core reasons bringing me to the Jack. And now nothing. I could be enjoying a delicious Mr. Softy chocolate shake right now. Two strikes, I'm Brandon. I used to be washing lettuce, but now I'm on fry, man. And the windup struck him out. Mets, go ahead. Two to one. Guys dancing around like they just won the 1986 World Series. Sit down. Now at bat, Pete. It can't rain all the time. The Crow Armstrong. Seventh inning stretch. Nobody's stretching. Cause it's one, two, three stretch around at the old ball game. Back, 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 back. Off the wall! Coming in for three! Safe! 
Tyler's got a name you can trust. Just put it on the box. Confetti! The Mets regain the lead. Bottom of the ninth. Down two runs. Four to two. Tying right at the plate. Oh! It's dropping. Shinsuke Nakamura at the plate. Down to the last out. Oh! Gonna draw, and that's the game. St. Lucie Mets four. Final score Daytona Tortugas two. Final score. 1,100 1, fans here tonight. 40% capacity. To the victor go the spoils. About it's about the second. 100 years of baseball is now officially underway here in Daytona Beach and it's all thanks to the amazing fans of Tuga Nation. We are getting ready to light off some fireworks to celebrate being back at the Jack. We appreciate each and every one of you for standing with the Jack. Five, four, three, two, one. That does it. Opening night. Minor League Baseball is back. There's peanuts to be eaten. Beers to be drank. Games to be watched. Daytona all lit up. A little bit of a late night here. It's 11.30 as we wrap up after fireworks. But fireworks, everything included. Ticket price, super cheap. Concessions went up a little bit. I will be honest, ticket prices I think went up just a little bit as well. But um, tomorrow, Belly Buster Wednesday. Um, if you haven't seen us do those types of videos before, I mean, it's literally all you can eat uh, food built into the price of your ticket also. So it's amazing, but I won't be here. All right, so we are going to get out and drive home. We've got a couple of road trip uh, Major League games coming up where uh, we'll see the Braves and Mets and Braves and Marlins. Uh, Braves and Mets and Marlins and Mets over the next couple of weeks. But for now, thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.